I'm lucky. Ha! <laughs> uh -huh. In my day. No. Oh, yes, you were, and I know why, because your sister was seriously hurt, and she says it's all your fault. All my fault? I saved her life. Saved her life? She fell off the community center roof. I was on my way to the baseball park when I saw her falling, and I went and caught her. Caught her? How come she's so badly hurt? Force of habit, Dad. I caught her, and then I threw her to second base. <laughs> for today's big game. Barodia Somi, the quarterback. Uh, Tony LaFave, the halfback. Yeah. And Kevin Kubuchetsky. <laughs> Drawback. We'll have more of that later, but right now, some of this. Oh, great, man. I you bring the sky along. <laughs> Kubicheski, yeah. today we are going to stretch you on the rack. Oh boy, oh boy, I love the rack. <laughs> well, if you know I love the rack, then why are you going to stretch me on it? That wouldn't be torture. Because while we're stretching you on the rack, you are going to be listening to a commentary by Howard Cosell. <laughs> oh no, that's going to be torture. <laughs> oh. That must be Howard now. Come in. No, come in. No, come in. <laughs> Howard Cosell. No. Welcome to Howard. Celebrity oh. Stretch. <laughs> oh, great. The game's still on just in time for the last inning. Say, Kev, what's with your dad? Oh, he's just watching the baseball game. Is the national anthem on? No, they played it hours ago. Gee, I thought I was patriotic. <laughs> patriotic or nothing. Howard Cosell must have started talking before he could sit down. <laughs> the old man to sleep on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> and now, here are a few scores. was written by Johann Sebastian Bach, and this next score written by... <laughs> Gee, Dad, you've been golfing for how long now? Twenty years. Twenty years? <laughs> you managed to sink a putt yet? <laughs> nice job. No, I ought to knock your block off. Come on, you don't even know which club to use. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, aim, fire! Be missed! Did I miss? <laughs> oh, no, you missed! You let it go right past and they scored one. Oh. What are you talking about? Well, you're supposed to stop the bullet, not let it go past. I don't know these kids. I don't know what they No, look. You're going to try it once again. And you'd better stop that bullet this time, or you're in real trouble. All right. Ready? Aim! I'm afraid you won't be able to play in Saturday's big game, Kubicheski. Oh, why not, sir? Because you failed. Come on, you're just prejudiced against us kids who come here on athletic scholarships. And anyway, how could I fail? I only take basket weaving. <laughs> float. The handles keep falling off. I never could get a handle on that subject. It's a joke. 
Doctor, Doc, you got to help my brother. He's having a fit. What are the symptoms, Brody? Well, he's got a swelled head, and he's always throwing tantrums and his tennis racket all over the place and yelling at people when things aren't going his way. What does it sound like, Doc? It sounds like a case of McEnroe's syndrome. <laughs> well, we doctors prefer to call it tennis ego. Good morning, fellow yogurts, and welcome once again to Yoga with Elan. This morning, the praying mantis position. Ready, and one, and uh, Dad, two. Dad, uh, that's not quite it. I, I don't understand, Captain. How can they do that with both legs? Oh, those yoga masters are really amazing. Uh, we have to stick your right leg straight up. Okay, there we are. Oh, oh easy. Okay, now, bend your left leg over here towards me. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, eat. No, her left leg's on the ground. Oh, I know, but this way you get better TV reception. What? Oh, oh please. Easy, Gemma. Oh, oh. Okay, now, just hold still. I want to watch Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live? Wait a minute. It, it's still morning. Okay, just hold still. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Lisa Ruddy. Your serve has won you just about every cup in tennis. Now that you've got all those cups, what do you intend to do? Well, I intend to continue serving, but in my own diner. Want a cup of coffee? <laughs> oh. Did you got cream? <laughs> oh, no, cream. Cream will make you fat. Er. <laughs> Kevin, I'm afraid I got bad news for you. Bad news? What is it, coach? You've been traded to Notre Dame. To Notre Dame? For who? Does the name Quasimodo ring a bell? Mm. He's the hunchback for Notre Dame. So then I dropped back, sent him out on a post pattern, called an end around and scored the big six. And then we got a two-point conversion and we won All the right. game. Boy! Could we please, just for one morning, not talk about football? <laughs> football, football, that's all I ever hear. <laughs> Pass the bread. 38, 47, 19. <laughs> <laughs> well, here he is, sports fans, direct from that tremendous pass to his mother in the kitchen, Kevin Kukuchevsky. Hi. Awesome play, Kevin. Uh, yeah, well, I, I trained hard, and uh, I thought hard, and uh, I think it paid off. So awesome, in fact, we're going to look at the entire thing once again in slow motion. Well, here he is, sportsman. Tremendous pass to his mother in the kitchen, Kevin Kubuchev. Hi. Awesome play, Kevin. Uh, yeah, well, I, I trained hard, and uh, I thought hard, and uh, I think it paid off. Did you know the National Hockey League was very interested in Bart? Bart? I didn't even know he could skate. He can't. It's just his burgers make the best hockey pucks. Yeah, but did you know they can't use them anymore? They broke too many sticks. <laughs> uh, I heard that. But, you know, Ruddy, I'd have to say that given a choice between Asomi and Kubuchevsky, i got to believe that Asomi's passing... Seen, seen, I hate to interrupt our broadcast, but there are a few items that I must clear up. Like what? Okay, well, like in baseball, when you don't hit the ball, they call it a strike. And in bowling, when you knock down all the pins, they call that a strike, too. And in football, get this, when you pass the ball, you throw it instead of walking right by it. And no, no, in golf. They yell four when they're really only hitting one ball. That doesn't make sense. Well, then. Well, Ruddy, I'll tell you all about it right after we watch these opposite sketches. Okay, I can wait. <laughs> hey, you guys break my window. No. Why not? <laughs> Come on. Get to it. Okay. Sorry. I mean, sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to do it. Right on, man. <laughs> oh, come 
on, sir. We just lost a game. Make us do 50 push-ups. No. Sit-ups, then. Make us do sit-ups? Absolutely not. Now, listen, you guys. I want all of you out there right now. Start getting a tan. Out to the beach. Come on. Move it now. Show me a rose. Oh, dear. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'll bother with this today. Here. Have a candy. <laughs> hey, three knows, muchachos norteamericanos, you buy hats from me, no? You already bought some. Oh, no, no, no. You gave me the wrong money. No, we didn't. We gave you the right money. The hats are 50 pesos each. You gave me a 5,000 peso note. Here, I bring you the change. Please. Well, I think gracias to the nice man. Oh, gracias, nice man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I ever glad you guys are still here. Now I want you to break the bedroom window. All right, right up there. Yeah, come on. Why? You, get up here, out of the line of flight. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. You, I bet you it's busted on both sides. So, Barody, you're the uh, captain of the water polo team, am I right? Yeah, that's right. You know, water polo is obviously a fascinating sport, but I've always wondered about one thing. Really? Uh, what's that? Well, how do they get 12 horses into a pool? Kubitschewski, I understand you have a complaint. That's right. I want to get a tan. A tan? Oh, well, maybe, yeah, you... You are getting a little pale. That's right, down here in this dank dungeon all day. What do you expect? I haven't seen the sun in years. You know, you may have a point there. Okay, look, here's your suntan oil. Oh, there we are. And uh, your sh uh, these are the eye protectors. That's right, I'm getting new on like that. I haven't seen the sun in years in the bright blue skies. Nice blue skies and sunshine? What are you talking about? Here's your sun lamp. Yeah. And by the way, Kabush, you better put on plenty of that sun tanning oil. You wouldn't want to get a nasty burn. <laughs> See you later. Blue 23. Blue 23. Blue green 47, 29. Hot, hot, hot. What is this? It's a hut. This looks like a house to me. I call for a hut. Are you sure? Looks like a hut to me. Oh, wait, man. A hut is a lot smaller and less, less or simple. It's simpler. Hi, this is Lisa Reddy doing the color commentary for today's show. Why don't we have another look at that last scene from the blimp? Blue 23. Very funny, Ruddy. <laughs> More sports when you can't do that on television return. Hot. Hey, what happened to you, Kubitschewski? Angel, you left me here for three days. Oh, oh, oh. you ran out of suntan oil. Oh. oh, and I left the light on. Sorry. Oh, well, hang in there. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, I'm uh, getting the old arm in shape. For softball? No, no. Christmas. Christmas? Yeah, I'm getting the old, old arm in shape for throwing out your mother's relatives. Coach, we've held a vote, and we've decided that even though the grant from the National Endowment for the Arts is twice the size of the one we used to get from Burt's Beanery, 
the price we have to pay for this ground is just too high. Oh, yeah, really? come on, wait a minute, guys. Come on now. Listen, it's worked to our advantage so far. Right? I mean, in that first period, those other guys were laughing so hard that we scored seven goals. Come on, give me one more period. That's like just one no, more. No, no. Second period. I mean, uh, uh, come on, guys. You really look swell. Got nice legs? <laughs> Kevin Kubuchewski, you've been with many of the major league teams. You've seen some of the greats of the game. You've seen some of the great plays, and you've seen the winners and the losers, and you've seen the managers come and go. Now tell me, Kevin, what exactly is it that you do? I'm the water boy. Mighty gas. <laughs> <laughs> You've got one in my headset. <laughs> Tony, how does the new baseball uniform I made you fit, dear? The top's okay, Mom, but the pants are a little loose. They're on the armpits. Uh, oh, well, you'll grow into them. <laughs> Good news, Kubitschewski. What gives, man? You've been traded. All right. Hey, in here. Come on, kid. Just in here, up against the wall. Tippy toes. Good morning, class. Today we are going to try something entirely different. We're going to find out which ones of you think you're stupid. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Whoever thinks he's stupid, stand up. <laughs> now, come on now, Kevin. You don't really think you're stupid. Well, it's not that, sir. It's just that you look so lonely standing there all by yourself. He did not. You're even... Well, here we are at halftime, sports fans, and with me is color commentator Lisa Ruddy with her views on the first half. Lisa... What do you think? Well, there were some highlights. And some yeah. good individual effort. Yeah. But if this team wants to be great, they're going to have to come up with bigger punch lines in the second half. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy. And uh, what did you think of Kubo Chesky's performance? Well, it was okay, but frankly, mine was a lot better. Sport opinion. Let's see what these kids have to say about sports. My mother says I am an all-around jack. Because boys are more athletic and they like to deal with more things. And usually girls like to stay at home and watch TV and talk to their friends on the telephone and different things. The boys always bragging that they're good and then they get up the bat and they strike out. The girls will hit a home run. Yeah, I have a girl on my baseball team. I like basketball and baseball. Yeah, I run track right now. Why? It's fun and I'm not, I don't do too bad in it. I like... Baseball, basketball. I kind of like football, but sometimes it gets a little too rough. Well, I'm into weightlifting, powerlifting, sit-ups. I'm an all-pro around the school. I have the muscles. Girls flock around when I flex mine. Well, I like softball and swimming and miniature golf. Last week in bowling, um, I bowled a 255 and a <clears throat> 657 series, and I was in the paper. And I might be in a magazine. Great. You want to become a professional bowler? Oh, well, not really. You don't make much money. Well, sometimes when you can do the backstroke, you bang your head and it hurts. Oh, yeah. Well, yesterday when I were on the track, I was running and I bumped into someone and I stepped on my finger and I busted open. Oh. No, I don't have any girls on my teams. Why do you think that is? Male chauvinist. The boys on my baseball team really treated me awful because they didn't th think that girls should be playing baseball on their team. Girls had a right to play baseball. Anything they sport, if they think they could play it, they should play it. It shouldn't be no no thing against girls playing baseball or kickball, basketball, nothing. As long as they can do it, let them, let them feel free to do it. We're back. And now for some quick scores. Adam, 12, Spaghetti, O. Oh. Jaws, 2, Bunk, 3. And a late score just in from Hawaii, 5, O. Oh. <laughs> All right, against the 
This is the new penalty box, and you got five years for high sticking. Five years for high sticking? Mm. Oh, why, you weak, you wish you what? You face junk. That's it. You now got ten years for unsportsmanlike conduct. Come on. <laughs> Want to try for a longer sentence? So, Kevin, uh, how long is this misconduct suspension? Well, I've been suspended for four days now. Well, hang in there. Oh, oh, Valerie, I got bad news. What is it, dear? We are going to have to move. Why? Is your company sending us to another city? No, 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 no. Are we in disgrace? Oh, no, no. No. Nope. Is it my parking ticket? Well, <laughs> no, not exactly, no. My cooking? Cooking. No, no, you've been keeping the windows closed. Well, then what is it? Kevin's little league baseball team has traded him to Cleveland. Oh? Yeah, for two George Brett bubblegum cards and a bag of jelly beans. Christine? Christine? Huh? Talk... Oh. Do you know why we cannot green slime you on today's show? No. Yes, I do know. Yes, I do. It's because I'm wearing a very expensive pink sportscaster jacket. <laughs> That's right. I By do. the way, do you know how much that jacket costs? I don't know. You're going to find out, because they're going to subtract the cost of that jacket from your next paycheck. Boy, that's sporting of you. Oh. He shoots! He scores! Oh. He darn, he scores! Oh, yeah, you owe me a quarter. I bet you they don't score again. I bet they do. You're on! Hey, Howie, let's take a look at that last goal on instant replay. Yeah, go! Don't short! Don't short! He shoots! He scores! Give me a quarter. Come on. One night in Bixby, Mississippi. <laughs> 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 It is true. An apple a day does keep the doctor away. <laughs> Curses. Boy, well, that's just about it for another week. But before we sign off, let's have a look at today's three stars. We've got our first star, Brody Asomi. And for the next little Lisa Ruddy. Ain't she sweet? Our second star, Tony LaFave. <laughs> <laughs> so the long chain. And last but not least, Kevin Kupochewski. <laughs> Fallen star. <laughs> Kevin, why don't you just give it up? Try something easier, like like sleeping or sitting. <laughs> Rest in the Do That on Television has been a poor sport production. Hey, you kid, come here. Were you the kid I saw throw this ball through that guy's window? Yes, sir. <laughs>